Hello, hello, and hello, and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Geminis. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Geminis, let's get into it. If you haven't had a chance to watch Sunday's reading with the questions to help get you through this week, because we're coming up on the last quarter moon phase in Capricorn. Mm, 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 mm. And Capricorn is a divine feminine sign, and uh, there's clear messages that are coming through. We already got the Ten of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so there's a lot of information in coming about your legacy, about making multiple streams of income, your creativity, all of those things, right? So I do see booked and busy for you all, lots of duties and responsibilities, if you can... If you can allow yourself to be in receiving mode, right? The tricky thing about this particular cycle is that we had a full moon in Libra and it was a pink moon, right? So the pink moon puts everybody in a dreamy, romantic state. Libra is really a relationship sign. We're not talking about any Libras that you know, but Libra really is a relationship sign. And so it requires balance. It sits at the middle, the, the center of the zodiac sign. So this balance is... What Source is trying to do is get someone to focus on their legacy. Like, what do you want your name to be synonymous with? Like, sometimes you, like you've stayed in hotels and you see when you say the last name or that name, it's connected to that, whatever that legacy is, right? So that's what Source wants you to start focusing on and getting busy, being booked and busy and expecting some great things coming your way. And not letting things overwhelm you to a point where you feel like, okay, I'm stressed out, I'm burned out, I'm emotionally drained from things. And so the fact that we're in a waning gibbous moon reminds everybody that you can still make moon water. You can still, you know, toss things into a burning bowl. I mean, you can still do those things, right? So you can try to get your rest and not be stressed out about things. The enemy is going to try to, yeah, the enemy is going to try to... Um, get you to not make a decision about things. This is what this means right here. To make you feel like you don't feel whole without some things, like I'm missing some people from my past that, you know, I, I shouldn't believe in love again. But I'm looking at, like, somebody making a decision about their legacy and focusing on whether you're currently in a twin flame relationship in love, but it's also a twin flame relationship as far as partnership and business as well. So you have a real shot at having... Um, some some really inspirational relationships in, in, in terms of business and romantic if you can just allow yourself to be in receiving mode, these downloads of messages. I'm talking about, I don't care how fast and how often messages coming that's trying to drain you, Gemini, you can toss it into a burning bowl as often as you need to do a cord cutting ceremony. And if it keeps coming up, okay, you can always ask God, what is it? Is it something that... Is still on my cell phone that I need to release? Is it something in my emails that I need to release? Is it this physical something in my possession that I need to release? I need to get all of this out of my spirit so I can be in receiving mode. Because a lot of people see you as the queen of pentacles. And I'm talking to men and women, Geminis. They see you as down to earth, very relatable, somebody that, you know, um, who is well connected, that kind of thing. And so Source is definitely trying to send, trying to get you back on your throne. You know, you got a lot of opportunities coming across your path. I mean, a lot of opportunities in whatever it is you want. But something from your past is trying to rear its ugly head. Love, feelings about romantic love situations trying to rear its ugly head. So believe it or not, it may sound easier said than done, Gemini, but you can do it. You have to decide where you're putting your energy. This is your tower moment. Where are you putting your energy? Are you going to focus on a working relationship or something in your personal life or your professional life that was draining you? Or are you going to toss it into a burning bowl and keep on moving forward and not looking back? Or are you going to let that thing consume you, that fire, that anger, that, because remember your air sign, right? That fire uh, consume you. So here we have this is why I know a lot of information is coming in. We have the Eight of Pentacles came out twice. Lots of messages are coming through. And Source is really trying to get you to put your demons under suppression. Everybody under submission, excuse me, not suppression. <laughs> or suppress your demon, put them under submission. Everybody has demons. So 
the enemy is trying to find out what your demons are and, and drain you. And for somebody, it's something having to do with business and something having to do with your romantic relationship. But source is saying to you, where are you putting that energy? What you going to do with that energy, right? So don't step down off of your throne. If you can help it, try not to. So source is giving you some time. Source is giving you some time to say, okay. Let me pull it together. Now I see what's going on. Remember this pink moon was about removing rose-colored glasses. You removed the rose-colored glasses. Now you see things for what they really are. Now it's time to move forward. Depending on how long you were in a relationship, a lot of times people feel like I haven't talked to this person I used to work with or did business with in a long time, but you never close it out. So you're thinking because I haven't talked to them, it's closed. It's not. Or I haven't talked to my ex in a long time. It's still not closed out. You really need to take the steps. And I'm talking about not just a burning bowl ceremony, but okay, talking to God. Is there any, is there a reason why something keeps coming up? Is there anything in my house? Anything that's connected to me? Is it, am I connected to anybody that's bringing me information that's going to drain me, you know, concerning that I really need to get that out of my energy so I can stay focused moving forward. So here we have the two of wands, the judgment card. We have the ace of coins, the page of coins, the high priestess. And the Eight of Wands. So somebody has worked so hard to transform to their higher selves. And that's how you want to stay. You want to stay focused. So what's interesting with this and this, this is the this is attached to Pluto. This is attached to Mars. There could be a, there, okay, you could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. Something that was done in your, um, there could be a, um, Either a Scorpio that you know of that's going through a tower moment, some kind of an awakening, or you could have Scorpio in your birth chart. The Scorpion symbol is a, um, is a scorpion. Something could have felt like a scorpion sting, you know, for somebody. So here we have the high priestess. And this is where, this is where you are tapped right into your feelings about something. Like you're, you're literally tapped in emotionally. A lot of times people don't want to admit that they have psychic gifts or all the clairs, clairvoyance, audience, sentience, cognizance, you know, voyance. They don't want to, they don't want to admit that they have all of these gifts, but source is saying that you do, you have the whole world in front of you. I'm seeing travel is, you know, I see new opportunities for work, for more, making more money, coming in contact with people. There's so many, it's like the world is open to you for whatever you want. And so source is saying to you, it's time to really start to be in receiving mode of messages that's coming to God, like really educate yourself in this, in this, in your spiritual journey. So that can also look like religion too. Believe it or not, all of it is connected. All of it is connected. So here we have the eight of wands and also the ace of coins. So I do see somebody working very, very hard. Um, and things are going to kind of speed up for you all because you all are literally Gemini's. Not only are you extremely smart, but you all are human sponges. You all love to learn. For the most part, you love to learn, right? Of course, this is a general reading. Take, an, take any only what resonates with you. A lot of you all love to read. A lot of you all love to absorb, learn new things. And so source is saying to you, stay focused, okay? Just stay focused. Stay focused and only put your energy towards things that nurture you, things that inspire you, motivate you, rejuvenate you, none of that other stuff. Here we have the seven of pentacles, high priestess. We also have the nine of pentacles, five of wands, five of cups, and justice card. All right. So again, this lets me know it's time to cut out some things. Justice card is connected to Libra, which is a um, divine masculine. So it's one of your sister signs, right? But it's a divine masculine sign. And it's about, hey, I need to cut some things out. I really need to cut some things out that's burning my energy. If I feel like if I'm focusing on what burned me, which just gets me that angry, and I'm thinking about like a scorpion stinging somebody, I need to I need to release that. Here we have the nine of pentacles and also the seven of pentacles. This is about you planting seeds that you want to grow, only planting seeds that you want to grow and not letting your demons rear their ugly head. Here we have the five of wands coming out twice. There's a lot of temptation here for you all not to close out this cycle, but hey, you're going to close it out successful. So somebody has already lamented over something. There's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of something emotionally going on there. High priestess energy is coming up again because of that super sensitivity, which is a gift. 
when people are saying, oh, you're so sensitive, you're so this and that, that's that's a gift. <laughs> Somebody's going to learn how to use it to your advantage and not see it as a burden or a curse. It's not a burden and it's not a curse and unless you don't know how to use it. Then you just like, okay, I already see, I already feel something is not right. Let me move on from this. So here we have acceptance. Here we have affirmations for acceptance. I accept myself as I am. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change, practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. I am at peace. All right. Do we have a number card? Yeah, let's pull a number card and let's close it out. Let's pull a number card and an affirmation card and let's close it out again. This is your Monday motivational reading. Monday motivational reading. So yes, your eyes should be on the prize of your legacy and that's it. And educating yourself. Like I said, somebody has some serious super spiritual gifts and all that stuff from the past, let it fall by the wayside. Just release it. Release it, release it, release it. Here we have zero. I am limitless, right? There is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things, Gemini. So come on now. Somebody tap. It's it's very different. When you're when you're uh connecting with people in the spiritual sense, of course you're gonna take you're gonna have some people that's that still have a lot of that earthly energy in them that's competing, that sees you as competition, that's going to try to ruin your business and all of that other stuff. A lot of people have found that out that happens in churches. It happens in other organizations where people are seeing other people as competition. But in this higher frequency, this higher dimension, this higher realm, a lot of people, you're going to find a lot of support. You're going to find, believe it or not, you're going to find a lot of support you know, where people are not seeing you as competition and not trying to ruin everybody else's business, leaving negative comments, being mean spirited. Some people are just like, you know, listen, because we, because we know in this community what karma truly means, right? Like really what karma truly means. So this is not, I got to get this person back. They did this to me at a higher frequency. It's like, you know what, whatever energy people put out into the universe comes back to them. Right. And so, and it's all, it with the intention what is the intention behind it if somebody's intentions were sincere they got good karma coming back if their intentions were to harm got bad karma coming back right so it's it's not how you received it it's with how they intended it so you'll you'll see somebody somebody is definitely on their spiritual journey so it's, it's time for you to sit down and meditate time for you to receive some more information about your legacy and what you want your legacy to be and um, a lot of things are going to change about what you saw in the earthly, in an earthly realm is going to change in a different realm. It's going to change to be something totally different. You know, so you got to, God is going to keep clearing away the negativity, the tricky relationships from around you so that you have complete and total clarity. So when you're planting seeds, you're only planting seeds that you want to grow. You're not speaking any negativity into your own garden. That is what I have for you, Geminis, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.